of the misses with Ole and Southern Miss linking up tonight in Oxford. In the home fourth with a man on, Errol Robinson knocks it past the infield for his 13th RBI of the year. Sykes Orvis scores and his 3-0 Rebels. But Southern Miss has the answer, connecting for a fifth inning solo home run. And we're all knotted up at four. Tie broken in the next frame, courtesy of Orvis. But it's not enough as the Rebs fall to the Golden Eagles 7-6. In the high school baseball playoffs, it's not quite Notre Dame football, but there is an Irish team here in the area looking to continue its tradition of winning. St. Joe begins its state title defense tomorrow night at home against, tonight rather, at home against Tupelo Christian. In the 1A playoffs, Chris Williams and crew helped the Irish grab its 15th straight district title a year after losing nine seniors, seven of which were starters. But playing for a traditional power brings out the best in players with every set back, hopefully setting up back-to-back -back champs. They really showed how the work ethic, when I talk leadership, they show a good work ethic and leadership trying to make things right and do better. I tried to bring them all together, and they're starting to get together and work harder. And Our last Riverside game, the last game we played, I, you could really tell the team started coming together and playing together. We just calm and mellow, and we just keep pushing each other forward. I mean, all the young guys, we're progressing and going forward and just keep getting better. I started on JV, now on varsity. Relying on freshmen, eighth graders, sophomores, and a, a couple of seniors, you don't have ups and downs. Knowing we can win tight games now and win after some adversity is what really helps some players. And meanwhile, in 4A, it's another mainstay program with, a young, with young guys on the roster. Cleveland opening things up at home tonight as well against Houston. Not a lot of people gave the Cats a chance to win anything this year. And they were right, at least in the early part of the season, as they stumbled out of the gate. But Steve Weiss's team turned things around at the right time. The last uh, part of the season, from uh, the time we got to the first weekend in April to now, uh, that the whole team, uh, even the young ones, just seem to have gelled together. They bought into our system now. Momentum's big. Um, you come through at the right time. You start playing good baseball when you need to, and it just helps you out when you start playing when it matters. I think we're all fired up, you know, to play for playoffs, and I think we'll compete. I mean, let's hope it stays like that, and we compete and give them a good show. Well, somebody did play yesterday. It's Washington squaring off with Jackson Prep in the MAIS playoffs. JP striking first with a Walker Wilbanks bouncer to the shortstop to bring in a run. Generals would fight back, however. It's Bryce Ziegler. He's going to get an infield knock of his own, and it brings around Anderson Shelley. And a wild pitch later on by Prep helps to tie it up at four. Washington would mount a rally, but would come up short in game one of the series, 10-8 the final. And that's going to do it for your morning sports.